Howdy, y'all. This is Clay Cooper, and I want to invite you to come see us at Clay Cooper's Country Express. We have 24 veteran entertainers bringing you the best music, comedy, dancing, and variety show that Branson has to offer. Get your tickets now, and we'll see you at the Clay Cooper Theater. Clay Cooper from the Clay Cooper Theater. This is my 30th year in Branson, Missouri. Came here in 1986 as a teenager working a summer job and it turned into a 30-year career. Well, our show is not just a country show, even though it's called Clay Cooper's Country Express. We do all types of music. We do gospel, we do patriotic, we do classic country, new country, Bruno Mars, Doobie Brothers, The Eagles, Tom Jones, Michael Jackson, Keith Urban, all kinds of stuff. So it's a variety of music that will reach uh, uh, grandchildren to their, to their 90 year old grandparents. Uh, performing with my, my wife and kids is, is amazing because I, I look, I, some, you know, my son and I do a duet in the show every year and, and when I look over there and see him singing and stuff, it just, it's a proud moment to see that, that he's doing something that I love and something that he loves now and I started out singing at the same age as my 12 year old. So I, I, get a, I get a thrill out of watching them go out and perform and, and see that they're actually enjoying it and it's not something that's forced upon them. So it, it is, it's awesome to be on stage and see them having fun and seeing the audience react uh, to, to what they're doing on stage. Well, uh, Johnny Lone Star and I have been working together for 22 years. We started together in 1994. And uh, I, first time I ever saw Johnny, I thought, man, that is really unique, you know. Uh, I think back to, to Will Rogers and, and when people, you know, when seniors come to the show and they see that, I'm sure their mind goes straight to Will Rogers. And, it, and it's something you don't see. I don't think there's another trick roper in town or, or that I know of. And I think it just adds a little, a little variety and a little spice to the show that people kind of go, wow, that's cool. That guy was uh, twirling guns and cracking whips and, and jumping through ropes. So it's just another element of, of the variety that our show brings. My favorite part of the show is uh, I would have to say interacting with the audience. And I think that's something that, that our crowd uh, really appreciates is the fact that there's not a wall uh, between the performers and the auditorium uh, where the people seat. You know, I, I get out amongst them and talk and visit and find out stuff about their life, which usually turns out to be something funny and interesting. And I would say that definitely my favorite part of the show is, is, is getting to know the audience and, and becoming friends with them. I, th I think, uh, in my opinion, what kind of separates us from a lot of shows that I've been to in my life is, is the fact that it is, uh, it, it's a down home feel. Um, uh, people come in and they, when they leave here, I think they feel like that they know me and what kind of person I am and, and what I stand for and what our show stands for. And I think that's something that, that people like. They, they don't want to go to a show and, and see somebody that's putting on an act. They want to see real people. And, and I kind of come up with this slogan a couple years ago, we're just real people having a real good time. And that's, that's what we do. I, I guess one of the coolest things about uh, being in Branson and, and having your own theater is, is, is getting to meet people that I grew up admiring. And, and uh, uh, you know, we had Neil McCoy in the theater for, for a few years and Mel Tillis is in the theater now. And so, you know, I, I, I've got an album out with Glenn Campbell doing duets with Glenn Campbell and Tony Orlando and Larry Gatlin and Johnny Lee and all these people that when I was 14, 15, 16 years old doing their songs and, and local opera shows around Texas and, and admiring and, and learning their songs and singing them and 
wanting to be them, you know, and, and now here I am, you know, years later and, and these guys are, are friends of mine that I'm, you know, calling on the phone and talking to and, and hanging out with. So I'd say that's, that's the coolest part about uh, doing what I'm doing and being where I'm at now is, is growing up admiring these people and, and now calling them a friend. That's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to the same thing I look forward to every year is, is performing and doing what I love. Uh, you know, people ask me, do you, do you really love performing as much as it appears you do when we watch your show? And I'm like, absolutely, what's there not to love? I'm, I'm earning a living and supporting my family and doing something I love to do and something I've always loved to do. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I look forward to doing shows and, and, and people coming in and seeing us and, and, and building from there. Well, this year at the theater, Clay Cooper Theater, we have um, the Haygoods returning their third season here with us, and they do Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, a great uh, family show of brothers and one sister, and they are just explosive with lots of uh, uh, pyrotechnic stuff and lighting and, and great music. And then we have uh, Red Hot and Blue, which is returning in the fall, and they're at, they are a decade show. We have uh, a brand new classic country show called the Ozark Mountain Opry, which opens up here in the next couple weeks, and they are a classic country show in the morning time. We have my show, of course, and then we have uh, uh, Hot Rods and High Hills, which is a, uh, a brand new 50s show that my wife Tina and I are producing, and, and we're going to be uh, doing all the great music of the 1950s. We've got a six-piece band and an eight cast member ensemble, singer-dancers, four guys, four girls, and we'll be hitting everything from, uh, you know, Bill Haley and the Comets to Richie Valen to the Everly Brothers and everything in between. So it's we're really excited about having that show. It's going to be here three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m., opening up April 15th and running through the end of December. So that's, that's something kind of cool. I don't know that there's another 50 show in town right now, so we expect big things, and, and we know that a lot of people can come to the 50 show and relive memories and that's what it's all about is people looking up going, oh I remember that song and what they were doing when that song was playing and where they were and when they met their their first love and all that stuff so that's what it's all about and we're excited about Hot Rods and High Hills. Well I like to I, I like to golf I haven't golfed much lately but I've always loved to play golf um, I like Honestly, I like hanging at the house with my family, and we, we watch movies. We go to the movies a lot, and uh, my wife and I watch a lot of cop shows, CSI and NCIS and all that good stuff, and uh, really just hanging out, and, and my boys are both so involved with my, my youngest son's in dance, and he goes to dance twice a week, my, my old, and he plays basketball, and then my older boy plays basketball and football, so we're in between shows, we're running and dropping them off at practices and games, and we stay so busy doing stuff with our kids that, that that's that's what we do and what we enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. This is Clay Cooper from the Clay Cooper Theater. I want to invite you to come out and see us. We're on Highway 76 right across the street from the Titanic. And be sure and check out ChooseBranson.com for tickets to any of the shows at the Clay Cooper Theater.